So where can we go? Listen, sweetie, I want you to hang out with me today, okay? But what about Dad? Well, Jack, I could use some time to talk to your mom alone. Uh, would it be all right if you just went into the living room? Thank you. Welcome. Okay. What's going on? Why didn't you return my calls? What's Todd up to now? I've thrown him out. Yeah. here to talk to Star, but I wouldn't let him. He refuses to leave until he can take Sam with him. So? 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 That little boy is Jack and Star's brother. They love him, Dorian. I love him. I know, but Jack and Star are your children, and it's your duty to protect them. Now then, Star has been through an awful Listen, lot. Listen, I... I know about Star's situation. All right. You, you know. mean she told yes, you? Yes, she told, told me. Thank goodness. Does Todd know? No, Damien. And he can never find out. Of course not. I am really very sorry. Must be very painful for you having your baby girl in such a horrible predicament. However, I now have the opportunity to do something I have been dying to do ever since you moved that pig into this house. Excuse me. Jack, Franca has made cookies and they're in the kitchen. Uh, why don't you go and get your share before Star and Sam hear about it? I don't want any. Anyways, Dad and I are getting ready to leave. I know, Jack. See, I already told you. No. Oh. But, Mom, I don't want to stay home. It's boring. And Dad was going to take me to the go-karts. That's right. It's been a while since he and I have had a little father Sunday. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes, never mind the fact that the go-karts are a death trap. Are they? Why don't you come along, Dory? Maybe I'll get lucky. You really want to make this harder, Todd? Come on. But you're the one causing the problems, aren't you, Blair? And you know exactly how to fix them. Why are you guys fighting? Well, I really want to stay here with you and Star and Sam. But your mom's making me leave. I had a lab all lined up. I was all set to drop off that fork, which I swiped from Vicky's, by the way. When we had breakfast there? That was months ago. I know. So why didn't you do the DNA test? Because the more I thought about it, the more it seemed like a big waste of time. Why? I mean, if you have any doubts that Charlie isn't your father... No, then... I don't. Because? Well, because Roxy says he was. Is. Yeah, Roxy says that NASA faked the moon landing. How the waffles doing? Uh-uh, no. Don't change the subject. I just explained uh, no, why I... No, you didn't. You said that you believe Roxy, but Roxy had you believe that Walter Balsam was your father all your life. So why would you buy the next explanation out of her mouth? Don't you think you need proof? Strange. What? When I told you about Charlie being my dad, you didn't say all this. You're just happy for me. Well, yeah, that was my first reaction, but, you know, now you have me thinking, and I think you should be sure. Like you were about Dorian. We aren't talking about me. Aren't we? When Dorian first started claiming that you were her daughter by way of some Puerto Rican mobster, did you go around sticking forks into plastic bags? No. Why not? Because I had confirmation from two adoptive parents and a whole extended family. Everything was verified. But all you have is Roxy. And let's face it, Roxy drinks a little. But Charlie says it's true. He wouldn't lie. How do you know? I know because I feel it, OK? Charlie is a really solid guy. He's honest. Otherwise, Vicky wouldn't be with him. Fine. You want Charlie to be your dad. Who wouldn't? God, what is this? Why are you so suspicious? Maybe because I love you and I don't want to see you hurt. What reason would Charlie have to lie to me? Why would he say he's my dad if he's not? 
Rex is not your son? I mean, why? 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 How do you know that? Was there like a mix up with the DNA test or what? No, there was never a test of any kind. You never had a DNA test? Uh, why would you have thought that Rex was your son? I mean, come on, you don't take Roxy's word for that. Uh, you know, the first time I ever laid eyes on Roxy Balsam was in Landview this year. I've never seen her before in my life. So you never slept with her? No. <laughs> I've forgotten a lot of things in my life, but I am pretty sure that I would have remembered that. Go on. Okay, but she is still involved with this situation. It's just not in the way that you think. You know what? Why don't you start at the beginning, hmm? Well, because I'm not really even sure uh, where this thing begins or ends anymore. It's uh, all gotten so out of hand. I mean, it was, it was fine up until the time that I was led to believe that my son was here in Landview, and that's when it got complicated. What did? Because I came to Landview to find my son, and I told you that I had found him. Oh, and that was not true? No, the only only part that was false was the part about Rex. Okay, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Well, you said ever since I left Texas, I have known exactly who my son is. And I have always known that he wasn't Rex. So, you see what I'm saying? What does he have to gain by claiming some guy with no money is his son? Don't put yourself down like that. So you get the point. What's in it for him? Uh, nothing, I guess. But you're still not convinced? I just worry that one day you might have a reason to be absolutely certain about Charlie. I mean, what if you need a new kidney like that guy on Lost? Fine. As soon as I have even the slightest twinge in an organ, we'll check out Charlie's DNA. How's that sound? Well, why not just find out now? Just get it over with. Because I, I know, okay? Charlie's my dad. But if it makes you happy, I'll keep the fork. Don't do it for me. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm doing it just in case. So don't put the fork in the dishwasher. I'll put it back in the drawer. I'm gonna go get clean. Waffles. You got it. Your dad is, is new here. He has to figure stuff out. We can help him, right? Yeah, sure. Maybe he should stay with us for a while. Until he finds another place. Honey, to stay. this 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 isn't even our house. We can't just start moving people in. You still like him, don't you? Your dad? Who else would I mean? Of course I, I like him. I um why do you even ask? I don't know. I guess cause every time I talk about him, you get this look on your face. Like you're thinking about two things at once. <sighs> and I thought I was doing such a dandy job of covering that up. I know what the other thing is. You do? It's Rex. Look, um, that stunt I pulled at the wedding, making a fool out of myself, I'm sorry. I told you to do it. Yeah, but I'm the grown-up. I should have known better. Well, since it didn't work and you still like Dad, I'm wondering. Go on. Do you think that you can ever love him like you love Rex? Rex, we're, um, we're out of eggs. I'm gonna go run to the store and pick some up. Want me to? No, 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 I'm already out the door. I'll be right back.